Did nah, the this is so. <sighs> this is so beautiful, bro. This is like when I seen this in the preview of the, when the uh, video started. I was like, I can't wait till they show this place. I can't wait till they show this place, bro. This is beautiful. City of Prague. Yeah, I was ready, they didn't have my back. They were petty, I stayed in my bed. On their petty, I brought it right back. We're going to Europe today. European gang. About to hit that subscribe button. Road to 100k. The key coming family. To the keep climbing gang, man. We all got a mountain to climb. The key climbing family. We're not a part of it. Hey man, hit that subscribe button down below, right? Hit that subscribe right now, man. Road to 100K. We almost had 60,000 subscribers. Road to 100K. Now we're finna check out this video sent in by a family member. They said, Rick, react to the top 10 cities to visit in Europe. And they want my opinion. They want me to check it out. They say it's amazing. They say it's beautiful. And they say they want Rick to go to Europe. So let's go to Europe today. And I actually might be traveling the world soon. So, you know, Europe is on the bucket list. You know what I'm saying? Europe is on the bucket list. All my European gang, comment down below where you're from in Europe. If you love Europe, what's also the best spots to go to if it's not mentioned in today's video. But let's get right into it. No wasting time. Let's jump right into it, y'all. Yee yee! What's up, guys? My name is Ryan Shirley, and I spent the last few years exploring Europe, and I want to show you my favorite cities. So here's my European cities top. Hang on, this already look beautiful. Hey, hey, shout out to my man Ryan, shout out to his channel, shout out to his video, you know what I'm saying, he always come up with that pressure, that pressure, you know what I'm saying, that pressure. Europe is home to some of the world's most interesting cities, Bro, this from is the beautiful. ancient history of Athens to the billionaire's playground bro, of Monte Carlo, Europe cities. This is gorgeous, bro. Y'all know America don't look nothing like, America looks so like, I feel disrespected. America is such a huge downgrade. I mean, any part of America. I've been to a lot of places in America. It looks nothing like this. This is beautiful. It's off like a, off like a, uh, man. What the, the water, the, the colors, the vice is vibe. I'm just, I'm just getting a, a bunch of good vibes right now, y'all. A bunch of good vibes. Offer so much variety and diversity. Let's start this video off at the beautiful city of Lucerne, Switzerland. located in the heart of Switzerland. Switzerland. Lucerne is a picturesque lake city. And I've always wanted to go to Switzerland. This looks so beautiful, bro. Like, I just want to just go to one of the coffee shops down there and just get a nice, nice coffee and a nice, nice little bagel or something or Danish. What's the best thing to eat? Y'all comment down below. What's the best thing to eat? Because when I think of Europe, I think of like going to a coffee shop and eating like the best like little dessert or something like that, you know, with a coffee or something like that's what that's that when I hear of Europe, that's what comes to my mind. I don't know why it's like that, but that's just hey, you can't blame me now. But comment down below the best places, the best food to get while in Europe. You're like y'all comment down below. All my European gang, y'all come on now. Put me on, put me on some game in the comments. I need everybody to type in the comments. Put me on something. The best food to get while in Europe. Surrounded by the Swiss Alps, it's just a short 40 minute drive from Zurich. One of my favorite parts of Lucerne is all of its medieval buildings and architecture. Oh, this Lucerne is, is home to Chapel Bridge, which is the world's oldest surviving truss bridge. Right, look at the architecture, look at like the, the build, bro. Like, this is so beautiful, bro. This is definitely on the bucket list to go. Built over 600 years ago in 1365. It Golly. was burnt down in 1993, but it was reconstructed and it's now open to the public. Another impressive wow. place in Lucerne is the Museg Wall and Towers. The Museg fortifications wall. began in the 13th century and it's made up of nine stone towers that were used as a defense wall during medieval times. Aside from all the history, Lucerne is just a beautiful city to walk around and explore the lake and all the surrounding scenery. I mean, it's hard Man, to beat the beauty bro. of this Swiss city. All right, after Lucerne, we're going to head over to Portugal to visit the vibrant Portugal. city of Lisbon. Being one of the oldest cities wow. in the world, Lisbon is Europe's second oldest capital city after Athens. I mean, there's just so much culture and history in this city. You can check out the Sanctuary of Christ the King Monument. Man. It reminds me of a mixture of Rio de Janeiro and Look San at that. Francisco's Look at that, Bridge. The Commerce Square is another beautiful spot to explore. One of the coolest parks in Lisbon is the Parque Eduardo VII. That is hard. It's like a, like a uh, well, I wouldn't say a, it's like a one pattern. It's like a, ma a maze, though. That's beautiful. 
It's full of beautifully designed hedges and just beautiful. a great place to enjoy the afternoon or evening. The Belem Tower is also an important like a monument. Perfect place, a perfect place to take your spouse or your uh, your other loved one, like your girlfriend, boyfriend. Like, like man, Europe is beautiful, bro. Why am I just not reacting to this video? I'm actually kind of mad now that I didn't react to this. Like, I re reacted to Canada, the UK, like all over places, man. But Europe is actually very beautiful so far. Served as a point of embarkation for Portuguese explorers. Lisbon is also close to some stunning beaches such as Ursa Beach. I haven't been to Lisbon yet, but certainly one of the first new European cities I want to explore. All right, so after Lisbon, we're gonna head over to Italy to visit the famous Italy. town of Positano. Located Italy. on the Amalfi Coast, Positano is a seaside village that's about a three and a half at, hour drive. Let me go back, let me, get, let me get a picture of the mountains. Oh my God, look at them mountains. Look at them mountains, man. Oh. Oh my god. On the Amalfi Coast, Positano is a seaside village that's about a three and a half hour drive from Rome. Now back in the first century, luxury Roman villas were built on the coast here. It was believed to be the home of mythical sirens that would seduce sailors to crash upon the rocky shores. Positano was a somewhat poor fishing village during the first half of the 20th century, but tourism began to gain traction in the 1950s, especially after John Steinbeck wrote about Positano in his essay where he said, it is a dream place that isn't quite real when you are there. And because I mean, it looked like it. Look at that. Like, look at this. Are... Look at this picture, though. Like, look. I don't. I, I mean, I don't blame him from saying that. Sound kind of true. Gone. When you see this place in real life, I think you'll feel the same as Steinbeck. I mean, it's just hard to beat the beauty of this place. The backdrop. And yeah, the... it's like it's a different feeling to actually see this and then actually be like there. Like, I know it's probably just vibes. And I know it's just beautiful when it when you're there seeing the mountains. Boom. You know what I'm saying? That is, man, I promise you that it look way better than anything over here in the U.S. Anything over here in the U.S. in Texas. Ain't nothing here down here in Texas. I'm trying to tell y'all, I got to get out of the U.S., man. Mountains filled with colorful villas against the Mediterranean Sea filled with boats and yachts. It's just jaw-dropping. Positano is quite a touristy destination, so be aware you maybe get some crowds, especially during the summer, but the beauty is worth that price if you ask me. I mean, just such a stunning Worth the price. All right, after Italy, we're going to visit possibly the most iconic city in the world, London. I've traveled more to London than any other international destination. I love the city so much and I just keep coming back for more. Everything from double-decker buses to the energy of Piccadilly Circus makes the city feel so alive. There's just so many places to see. You can check out the iconic Big Ben and walk across the bridge to see the Palace of Westminster. There's the Tower Bridge which is possibly the most famous bridge in all London. You can go see the Stoic Guards at Buckingham Palace or take a ride on the London Eye. If you haven't already been to London, so I highly bro. recommend visiting when you can. It's hard to beat London's atmosphere. There's no city like it in the world. While we're still in the UK, we're gonna head over to Edinburgh. If you want to go back in time, Edinburgh is a must. It's where J.K. Rowling wrote her Harry Potter novels. When I started traveling, this was one of the first cities I visited. It's a medieval town with intricate neoclassical buildings, cobblestone streets, and beautiful gardens. The iconic Edinburgh Castle overlooks the city and it's home to Scotland's crown jewels. One of my favorite places so in Edinburgh bro. is Calton Hill that just offers a beautiful view of the entire city. Another cool spot in Edinburgh is Arthur's Seat. It's located in Hollyrod Park and it's a short rock from Edinburgh Centre. Arthur's Seat is an extinct volcano with an elevation of 823 feet. When I was there, I wanted to get as high as I could so I could see all of Edinburgh. I made the hike up and reached the top. I just had a good time hiking around Hollyrod. And hey, shout out to my UK gang now. I know you in the video. Shout out to my UK, my UK gang. Where y'all in the comments, man? Where y'all at, bro? Show your boy some love, man. 10,000 likes. Free grandma in the comments. Y'all know grandma doing 100 years in jail right now. Y'all know why. I ain't got to say it this video. Park and enjoying the views of one of Europe's most beautiful cities. After Edinburgh, we're gonna head down to Croatia to visit the mini. Croatia. If you, if you have a passion oh, for it, pursue it. I just kind of went for it and I'm here now. With over 68. Evil town of Dubrovnik. 
Now located in southern Croatia, Dubrovnik is one of the most popular medieval cities in Europe. The history of Dubrovnik dates back to the 7th century when it was founded by refugees. During the 14th century to 1808, Dubrovnik was ruled as a free state. One of the most notable features of Dubrovnik are the walls that surround the old city. They are almost 2 kilometers in length and they are anywhere from 4 to 6 meters thick. They were used to protect the city throughout history. The unique look of the city has made it a popular filming location. Dubrovnik was featured in Game of Thrones as it was used to depict the city of King's Landing. After Croatia, we're going to head up north to visit Czech Republic to visit now, the capital. Now this is so... <sighs> this is so beautiful, bro. This is like, when I seen this in the preview, of the, when the video started, I was like, I can't wait till they show this place. I can't wait till they show this place. Bro, this is beautiful. City of Prague. Due to its Prague. location and rich history, look at them, look at them, uh, yeah. history, Prague is known as the political, cultural, and economic center of Europe. Prague was the capital Prague. of the Kingdom of Bohemia and was the main residence of many Roman emperors such as Charles IV. One of my favorite attractions is the Charles Bridge. Its construction began in 1357 and it wasn't finished until the beginning of the 15th century. The bridge is decorated with an alley of over 30 statues. I mean, it's just so scenic and such a great so feature in Prague. Bro. The Old Town Square is also a great place to explore, and the Prague Castle is another beautiful sight to see. It's considered to be the largest ancient castle in the world. It's like nothing, like, it's like around the world, man, I have to get to really understand, like, we all really live different lives. Like, even you that's watching this video, like, your surroundings like we all live a different lifestyle and we all are in different areas man it's just like i see why they say the best thing you could do is travel travel the world you know what i'm saying get out get out get out your state get out your country get go 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 to a different state go to a different country go to a different region man a different environment Cause I tell you, I would do anything to get out out where I'm at right now, and go down here to Europe. Right, I go, I leave, I go to Europe right now, just to walk the streets of this uh, of this city right here. Just to walk the streets of this city. Somebody come send me a plane ticket right now. I go to that international airport right now. Somebody send a plane ticket. Send it to my PayPal. Send it to my email. Send me that plane ticket. Somebody pay for it. Come on now. Just pay for the ticket. And it was built more than a thousand years ago in the 9th century. I mean, that's a freaking long time. Prague has such a historic vibe, and I hope all can visit. After Prague, we're going to head over to Spain to visit the famous city of Barcelona. And when you think Barcelona. of Spain, this is what you probably imagine. Barcelona is home to incredible so architecture, Mediterranean beaches, and beautiful. an energetic vibe all around. When I was in Barcelona, I wanted to get a good vantage point of the whole city, so I hiked beautiful. up this place called Mirador de las Baterías. It's a wild spot that offers a 360 panoramic view of the city. The most iconic attraction in Barcelona is La Sagrada Familia. It's this Roman Catholic minor basilica that began construction over 138 years ago and it still isn't wow. finished. It's anticipated that construction will be finished in 2026, but who knows? All I know is one of wow. the most unique buildings in the world and I still can't get my head around that it's been construction since 1882. All right, after Spain, we're gonna head over to Greece. Oh, so they've been construction for that many years? What they what they got going on? What they what they planning on doing? Golly, Greece, city of Athens. It's Athens. the capital and largest city in Greece, and it's one of the world's oldest cities. Athens is such a wild place with so much history. One of my favorite places in Athens is the Acropolis. If you want to get into Parthenon, it costs about 20 euros, so it's a little expensive, but it's totally worth it, especially if you're there. When I went to the Acropolis, I was able to get some of my favorite time lapses over the city. They're just an endless sea of white buildings with mountains in the background. If you do go to Greece, I Beautiful. recommend exploring Athens for at least a day or two. It's just such a unique place. All right, so for our last location, we're gonna visit the tiny country of Monaco to see the city of Monte Monaco. Carlo. Monte now, Carlo. Monaco is the second smallest country after the Vatican. Monte Carlo. The whole country is only 499 acres. Monaco has been known as wow. a billionaire's playground and over one third of Monaco citizens are millionaires. One reason why Monaco draws the rich is- Wow. So basically we got the millionaires down there in uh, Monte Carlo. 
we got my millionaires down there in Monte Carlo. It's because it's a tax haven. There are no income taxes and other tax rates are extremely low. One of the most famous- Ain't no income tax, ain't no tax rate. What the I told y'all we got, I got to get out of America. Now I'm mad. I love the video, but now I'm mad. Now I'm, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm jealous, <laughs> but I'm mad. <laughs> No income tax. What? Let me find out, man. Let me get up out of this. Uh, you, let me get out of the U.S., man. In this place is in I gotta get out of Houston, Texas. I got to get out of Texas, man. In Monaco is the Monte Carlo Casino. It was opened in 1863 and has been featured in the James Bond films. Another annual boy, tourist yo, attraction in Monaco oh, in the is... James Bond film? Man, so them boys really like that down now. This is the Grand Prix. I'd love to see some race cars ripping through the city there. If you can handle the riches of Monte Carlo and Monaco, it's definitely a place to add to your European city bucket list. Well, that is it for my top 10. Europe is such a unique region in the world. There's just so many beautiful wow, cities so beautiful. in Europe. I literally could have did a top. Today's video was a banger, not gonna lie. Like, so beautiful. That Europe is on the bucket list, not gonna lie. So, but, I mean, Europe been on the bucket list, but now that I actually got to see some cities today, yeah, for sure bucket list. I for sure am leaving America. I'm getting out of Houston, Texas. Yes, sir. But y'all comment down below the next video I should react to. The next, um, just send the link and also send also all my all my people in the comments. Let me know if they miss if they miss something in the video, and also comment down below some food as well. Like I wanted to hear about the food. I might try to find a video about the the food down there, but send something about the food. You know what I'm saying? And also, comment down below where you from. What city you from? And is it beautiful or not? All right, give me a little back, a little uh, little information, a little background information that I might want want to know. You know what I'm saying? Help, you, help your boy out. Because I'll I tell you what, I'm trying to get out of America. <laughs> your favorite American is trying to get out of America, y'all. But banger video, 10 out of 10 video. And hey, man, I love every last one of y'all. Join the family, join the game, the double K. Hey, roll to 100K, baby. Let's go crazy, man.